Welcome back to Shelby on Safari. How's it hanging? Today we are going to learn five amazing things about sloths, including something about an aquatic sloth. What? But first, before we do, if you're new here and you want to join the safari by hitting that subscribe button, making that bell go ding, that would be most excellent. Now, let's go discover, and hopefully a bit warmer part of the world, the rainforest. Whew. Can you see my breath? It's so cold. All right, let's get started. Look closely and hidden amongst the trees of this canopy, you'll find a very strange member of the Xenarthra order that likes to move at their own pace. The sloth. There are six species of sloth, four three-toed and two two-toed. All species can be found throughout Central and South America. Now, sloths may resemble monkeys because they like to hang out in trees. However, they are actually related to armadillos and anteaters. But speaking of trees, let's talk about their lifestyle. Sloths spend up to 90% of their life upside down. Now, the few minutes that I was hanging upside down, I realized my breathing was affected. However, with sloths, their internal organs are actually stuck down, preventing them from weighing down on their lungs. One study estimated that this can reduce a sloth's energy expenditure by about 7 to 13% when hanging upside down. Now, it doesn't sound like a big deal, but it is to a sloth. Ever wondered why sloths are so slow? Well, they have an extremely low metabolic rate, which means that they move at a sloth-like pace, or sluggish if you want to be a bit more brutal about it. Their metabolism is so slow, it can take a month to digest a single leaf, and it can store a third of its body weight in urine and feces, which it deposits about once a week when they slowly make their way down to the forest floor. So, as you may imagine, the stomach and bowel contents would be extremely heavy for the poor sloth for most of the week. That's why having these multiple unique adhesions in places such as the liver, stomach, and kidneys help prevent them from pressing on the diaphragm and inhibiting breathing. That's not the only thing weird about sloths. Let's take a look at this three-toed sloth. In particular, his neck. Almost every placental mammal on Earth, which is about 5,000 species in total, have seven vertebrae in their neck. That includes animals like the giraffe. However, the three-toed sloth deviates from this. Many of them have eight, nine, or even 10 cervical vertebrae giving them the ability to swivel its neck up to 270 degrees in either direction. The Greek goddess Ergia was the ancient personification of laziness, and she was known to sleep often. But just because sloths like to sleep doesn't make them lazy. In fact, they've managed to survive on this planet for almost 64 million years. So they got something right. Sloths in the wild sleep for only 8 to 10 hours a day, which sounds quite similar to us humans, eh? Another oddity about the sloth is that they operate at a lower body temperature than most mammals. Compared to us humans, which are about 97.8 degrees Fahrenheit, the average temperature of the three-toed sloth is around 91 degrees Fahrenheit. And sloths move in and out of shade to regulate their body temperature. The sloth does seem to be quite the rule breaker. For example, for the majority of mammals, digestion rates depend on body size, with bigger animals generally taking longer to digest their food. Now the exact rate of digestion remains unclear. However, some studies have found that the current estimations for the passage of food from ingesting it to excreting it range from 157 hours to a whopping 50 days. 
or 1200 hours. Whoa! So it shouldn't come as any surprise that their four-chambered stomach is constantly full. So only more leaves can be ingested when digested leaves leave the stomach and enter the small intestine. And as we've seen, sloths, well, they don't regularly make their way down to the forest floor to poop. It's what, once a week? So that means their abdominal contents can account for up to 37% of their body mass. Now it's time to get hairy. Sloths are the only mammals whose hair grows in the opposite direction from the hair of other mammals. Their hair parts in the middle of the belly and grows upward towards their back. Even the hair on their face points upward too. This allows for water to run off during rainstorms. But it gets way weirder than that, for each strand of sloth fur has grooves that collect algae? What? Not only does it give them a greenish tint that helps them camouflage into the trees, the algae also provides nutrients for the sloth when they're nibbling on their hair when they're having grooming sessions. I'm not too sure if that's something to be green with envy about. I also want to give a quick shout out to female sloths, for they give birth while upside down. And depending on the subspecies, the sloth youngster stays with its mother for six months to two years. There are five sloth species in the genus Thalassocnus that are rather remarkable. They found that the bones of Thalassocnus are osteosclerotic, meaning that they evolved to be exceptionally dense, to act as a ballast almost, to help the animal maintain neutral buoyancy as they swam in the shallow waters. Sloths today still make great swimmers. In fact, they can move through the water up to three times faster than they move on land. And by slowing their heart rate to one third of its normal pace, sloths can hold their breath underwater for up to 40 minutes. Now, I did do a few Animal Crossing live streams over the past few weeks, and in that, we discussed bamboo gardens. Now, I'm pleased to say a few of my friends did in fact enter the bamboozle competition, and I thought you'd like to see their pretty impressive bamboo gardens. First up is Chaz's garden with a nice tiki torch to really set the mood. Jenna put a nice bridge in her bamboo section of her island. I enjoy the yellow flowers amongst Alice's bamboo garden. And here's Tally's garden. She has a great Instagram, which I've linked just here. Check it out. But look at her beautiful bamboo garden. And is that you doing yoga, Tally? My word, this is fantastic. Thanks so much for joining me today as we learned about the amazing sloth. If you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with a slothy lover friend. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.